December 12th, Tuesday, 2017. It is day 327 in a Donald Trump Zionist regime. I'll tell you what's on my mind today. What has the Donald Trump Zionist regime done for me lately? It's kind of on my mind. Here we are. We're basically at the end of the year. Donald Trump has had almost a year to get his shit together. Make America great again. We're going to do a little overview. What has he done for Americans who have worn the uniform? Well, last week he holded, held a Hanukkah party. You know, he, uh, he moved Jerusalem. The capital is now in Jerusalem. Israel's capital is in Jerusalem. He's, he's even sending VP Pence over there for 11-day vacation. Again, but it's on my mind, what has Donald Trump's regime done for myself? But I'm going to throw in all the other military veterans out there, all the other born and raised Americans out there. going to throw us all in one big deplorable bag. What has he done for us lately? Well, you notice that little American flag he's got on his lapel there. He hired a Hungarian Brit, a man who has loyalties to Hungary and Britain, he, he hired him. Did uh, Sebastian Gorka wear the United States uniform? Did he put his life on the line for America? No, but he's, he's a handsome man. Donald Trump thinks he's a handsome man. He's a Hungarian Brit. Hired him, okay. He hired a 36-year-old slumlord huh, to do just about everything. The kid's got a loyalty to a foreign power. Did Jared Kushner wear the uniform. Did he put his life on the line for the United States of America? No, I don't think he, I don't think he could give a shit about America. He, like I say, he's got a loyalty to a foreign power. Okay, Donald Trump, we're doing an overview. He hired an Egyptian-born lady. Oh, she's real pretty. Per she's friends with Uma Abedin. She's pretty, too. Boy, these girls are pretty. Maybe that's why Donald Trump hired them. Uma Abedin connected to Saudi Arabia. But Hillary lost. So we'll put the Egyptian-born Dina Hobby Powell in there. Because you're pretty. Yeah, Donald Trump likes them when they're pretty. He even sent his little sweatshop princess all the way over to India. Now, you know, before she left, I never got that phone call from anybody in India. Said, Bravo, Vamula! We're going to open up a huge factory and we need you to be in a position of power. No! We heard you wore the uniform. We heard you put your life on the line. You deserve a position of power. No, didn't get that phone call. Heard about him. Let them eat cake as he puts a Wall Street piece of dog shit scum in control of the bank, the treasury. Let them eat cake because we got all the money. Did not get a call from them assholes either. Donald Trump even went over to Paris to eat the blue lobster. Now how that was going to help Americans, how eating the goddamn blue lobster in Paris, how that's going to make America great again, I have no goddamn idea. He even went over and talked to the Pope. Sure, he may be a fake pope, or I don't give a shit if he's a fake, fake pope, a real pope. How in the hell is the pope going to make America great again? Didn't happen, I tell you. You see, this is what's on my mind. What has the Donald Trump Zionist regime done for you and I? in the last year. Oh, he bowed down to the Saudi king. He even sent a 36-year-old slumlord over there. They did some wheeling and dealing there after the Las Vegas situation. I don't know what the hell they did to make America great again, but Donald Trump bowed down to the king. I never did get any calls. Right up the road from where I live, they own half of Spanish trails. The Saudi Arabians own almost the whole goddamn Spanish trail. Never once did I get a phone call from the Saudi Arabian. Bravo, Vamula! We own half of America. We'd like to put you in a position of power because we heard you You wore the uniform. Put your life on the line for America. No, no, no. We'd rather you pick up the goddamn breadcrumbs because Americans be damned. You see, no, you got to be born in Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Israel, blah, 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 blah. You got to be born any goddamn place at all if you want a position of power, a Hungarian Brit for goddamn sake. 
So I ask you, and I'll pick on the Bible thumpers, the Southern Bible thumpers, or any of the Bible thumpers who are still on the Trump train, I ask you, do you really still believe that horse shit? Make America great again because he wears that flag on his lapel? Tell me, I mean, the guy is hired Hungarian Brits, born in Egypt, Hanukkah, move it to Jerusalem, go to China, hire the Chinese to build my new golf course. Oh, you thought I was going to forget that, huh? He bowed down to the king, but after he left the king, he went right for China and said, Hey, thank you. You have anybody over here that can build my golf courses? I heard you Chinese work really, really cheap. Those damn Americans are spoiled, rotten bastards on snap cards. That's what it's coming down to. Us Americans. Some of us even wore the uniform, put our life on the damn line for the country, but now all we are is simpleton bastards who... Well, you're lucky to have a snap card. Oh, well, this is what I believe Donald Trump is thinking. In Donald Trump's little pea brain mind, he's doing Bravo von a favor when he doesn't send a drone to my house and take me out. You see, Donald Trump thinks he's done a lot for me lately. Yeah. Damn, I didn't send that drone to take you out, Bravo. What the hell you grip? What the hell you bitching about? A position of power. Come on. Ha 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 ha! A position of power for somebody born in America? Ha 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 ha! Bravo! Come on, you're cracking me up. You're killing me, Bravo. You're killing me, man. Kill me. Come on. Born on the Ohio River and you think you deserve a position of power? Bravo! 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 You such a. You so funny, Bravo. You. Fucking asshole! Do, do we have the right to be angry? Do Americans have the right to be angry? We look around and we see all the people in government jobs. Born in India. Look at the people VP Pence puts in positions of power born in India. Born in Egypt. I, I don't have to go. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. Do Americans have the right to be angry? This is our country, supposedly. No, it's no longer our country. We've been taken over by a foreign power. And they want to hire anybody but Americans. You and me are being persecuted. We are being persecuted on purpose. You are to pick up the breadcrumbs and die under the bridge as everybody else in the world comes over here and takes positions of power. Do we have the right to be angry? You goddamn right we have the right to be angry. So don't tell me, Donald Trump, Ivanka Trump, that you've done something for America. Don't tell me make America great again because you want to make me sick. I literally want to throw up when I hear your lies. Go have your Hanukkah party. Have it. And hope Hope next year is a better year for you, Trump. Maybe next year you'll think about the Americans, but it may be too late. Next year may be too late. Maybe FBI Mueller is going to be on your ass quicker than you believe. And maybe you had one year, Trump, and you screwed it up. Over in Saudi Arabia, Vietnam, the Philippines, China, Paris. You went every, maybe it was just one big vacation for you, Trump. Maybe that's all it really is to you, Trump, is a vacation. This Make America Great thing was just a lie. Drain the swamp was just a lie. You went with it. What it was was a vacation. Yes, I hope Mueller takes care of you, Trump. I hope Mueller takes you out because, quite frankly, for one whole year, you've done nothing for me, Trump, and I've seen you bow down to kings. You make me sick. Looks like Hillary got the last laugh after all. Anyhow, the big story today is Donald Trump did some slut shaming. That's the end of the video. End of the video, I talk about the slut shaming tweet that Donald Trump put on his senator to the left. Okay, not only is Trump letting America down, it looks like he's possibly letting Roy Moore down. Yes, Donald Trump's credibility is gone. His ratings are down. I think he's down in the low 30s, his approval rating. And that would make sense that uh, Doug Jones won. I mean, 
You don't even want your name on Don, Donald Trump on your campaign now. You don't want Donald Trump anywhere near your campaign. I mean, this guy, he, I mean, his whole family, it, it's, it's out now. The word's out. They, they don't care about America. Happy Hanukkah! I mean, Ivanka says, happy holidays. I mean, that's one of the things Donald Trump got elected on. I'm going to say Merry Christmas instead of happy holidays. And look at this. His own sweatshop princess. She don't even get it. He puts her in a position of power. Happy holidays. My daddy's a di my daddy don't tell me what to do. Happy holidays, America. Merry Christmas be damned. Bunch of fakes. I mean, America, we have been cursed with the Trumps. All because we despised, everybody despised Hillary Clinton so bad that we went with Donald Trump. It's just, we're in bad shape. Bad, bad shape. I mean, let's get on with the news then. I mean, hey, today I vented. Yes, I vented. Americans have the right to be angry. We're picking up the breadcrumbs as we watch these foreigners take all the positions of power. And <laughs> Ivanka and Jared are hanging on to the swamp. I don't even know why you'd even want to hang on to the swamp. Who, what, what kind of crocodiles and alligators and snakes want to want to creep around in the swamp? I mean, you got to be evil to even want to be in that swamp. Yeah, it looks like Roy Moore, Roy Moore lost. Bitcoin surpasses the tulip mania. I don't know how they figured that out. Housing bubble in Toronto is affecting the strip club industry. So we'll just wind this segment down today, but I want you to ask yourself, what has Donald Trump done for you? I mean, most of you Bible thumpers have a pension. I mean, okay, so your pension's still showing up. George Bush gave the banks trillions of dollars, and your pension's still showing up. Obama did this, and Obama did that. Your pension's still showing up. Big deal. Yes, they make, up, they make up crimes now. You lie to us, and you go to jail. They're making up crimes now to put us in jail. You spit on the sidewalk. You lie to the FBI. I mean, anything to put American in jail. Make some money off of you. The reason why they've done nothing for us is because they despise us. I'll leave you with this. You and I are nothing more than a target. We are nothing more than a piece of cattle to be harvested. You have a bullseye on your head. You are to be harvested targeted, put in jail, run through the ringer, take every penny you have, and then hire an Indian or a Pakistani or a Saudi Arabian or an Egyptian and put them in a position of power, you Hungarian bit. Hungarian Brit asshole. I mean, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Nothing but a bunch of goddamn bullshit. Well, I know this is going to come as a big surprise to everybody, but Donald Trump is back in the news today. A big controversy on one of his tweets. <laughs> yes, surprise, surprise. Anyhow, he's uh, supposedly slut-shaming the senator on the left there, who's in really, really bad company. Uh, but before we get to the big story today, I want to look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture here is we have a soft revolution going on. That's what the billionaires call it. All the billionaires and the, uh, all the people with the money, all the people connected to the Federal Reserve banking cartel. Basically, the soft revolution is to replace the men with women, a softer women. That's their idea. It's been in place for a long, long time. I mean, you can even go back to the 70s when they tried to started to bring the women into the workforce and to tax them. But even Time Magazine, you look at the Time Magazine, it's no longer Man of the Year, it's Person of the Year. And of course, the soft revolution is all over it. I mean, you even go back a couple years ago when Playboy said, no more nude centerfolds. I think they've changed that. I think they, when you go out of business, it kind of changes that behavior. But anyhow, there is an agenda, a huge agenda for this soft revolution. So I think we need to look at it Make sure we remind ourselves of the big picture. 
before we get to today's story. Okay, onward to the big story today. The, what I find so telling is that Donald Trump did not even use the word slut. I mean, that's what the Democrats are using on their own people. That's the, the word they're using for their own people. So this is one of those instances where the Democrats just make the situation worse by fighting back. I believe the Democrats should have just shut up. But here's the tweet. Basically, he's saying that the senator would come in begging for money and would do anything for them. Those are the six big words, and would do anything for them. That's what CNN, mainstream media, is calling them, the six big words. But in those words, no mention of slut. Okay, what happened is, this is a, definitely a situation where the Democrats make things worse for themselves. The Democrats come out and start using the word slut-shaming. Okay, so, I mean, this is basically proof. Proof. I mean, this tells you how dumb the Democratic donkeys are, that they use the word slut on their own people. I mean, you talk about some dumb criminals. Bottom line here, I think the Democrats should have just ignored this one because it just brings attention to what the political prostitutes are. Nothing but goddamn whores. Think about this when you're watching Fox News tonight, Donnie. What have you done for America lately? <laughs>